finals, the last being the final, this being the first of the semifinals. In the ring, we've got Matt Corbain and Kevin Dunn. They're a tag team. We've got John Caesar and Larry Valentine, the Heartbreakers. They are a tag team. And the third team, of course, is the man right in the middle of the ring, Hammerjack, and his tag team partner, Shane Eaton. They are known as the Fast and the Furious, and they are the third team in this first semifinal round, Indeed. I guess you could say. The winner of this match goes on to one out of two spots in the main event tonight, challenging for the tag team titles. Interesting note, two of the teams in this match have already been the tag team champions. The Heartbreakers and the Fast and the Furious have both held those belts before, and I'm sure they'd love to do it again. And of course, Matt Corbain and Kevin Dunn. Big move by Kevin Dunn, speaking of the man. They've got their eyes set on the title, too. They want to take down suicidal youth. All these teams do. Everybody wants those USWO tag team titles that Eric Andrews and Ryder currently hold. Absolutely. This is my first time seeing the Heartbreakers back in a ring. Good to see Larry Valentine back again. These guys are known for being infamously dominating of the tag team scene. And I'm sorry, Shane Eaton just broke my concentration. Missing a leg drop there. Always the focal point of the attention during any match that he's involved in. Shane Eaton is styling and profiling as always in there. Kevin Dunn, one of the upcoming rookies of the USWO, waylaying Shane Eaton with that spinning back elbow. Going for a cover now. One, two count, only two. Shane kicks out. Yeah, Dunn and Corbain have looked impressive the last few weeks that they've been here in the USWO. Yeah, I heard they beat Booty Call last week. That's a big win under their belt, certainly. That's, of course, anytime you take down a former tag team champion, it's a big win for you. Corbain, of course, has been here in the past. Ooh. And he came back this time, brought Kevin Dunn with him. And so far, they seem to be clicking fairly well. Although, Gee, right now, it's Fast and the Furious that's clicking at the moment. Tag into Hammerjack, who puts a boot right in the face of Kevin Dunn. Making the cover one and two. Larry Valentine and Caesar there to pull Hammerjack off of him. Yeah, Valentine and Caesar know that if. And Valentine yeah. just tagged himself in. Well, the, you can't win this match unless you're in there. And they know that. They know that if, if that other guy tags somebody else while you're standing on that apron, you've basically given away your chance. So this is going to be a great little tag match. Indeed. Hip toss on Larry Valentine. Kevin Dunn showing he has the skills. Arm drag, too. Could Valentine still be rusty from his lengthy time off that he took? He might be a little bit rusty, but it looks like he still has all the knowledge he had before. It put a grand halt to the flurry there from Kevin Dunn. I was going to say, if there is any rust on it, looks like you could just wipe it off, and it'll come clean just like that. John Caesar getting that head of his ramming right into the head of Kevin Dunn. And unless you're Samoan, if you headbutt Caesar, you're losing. Sensible maneuver there by Valentine as he tagged in his partner. Didn't tag in the opposition, keeping his team in there, giving them a chance to win these, this shot at the USWO championship. Caesar hooks him, snaps him over on that suplex. Going for the cover, referee didn't see that. He was messing with Fast and the Furious. Gives Kevin Dunn just enough time to kick out. Dunn's been in there a long time. He desperately needs to tag in somebody, preferably, of course, his partner. Absolutely. He's been beaten on by all four members of his competition here in the match. Valentine shooting that punch right into the ribs. Referee's tending him back out to the outside. Valentine just pacing himself, taking his time here. Valentine now trying to rip the face right off of Kevin Dunn, jamming those fingers into his eyes. Takes him, throws him to the opposite side, comes charging in. Dunn saw it coming, kicked him right in the chest, makes a tag to his partner, Matt Corbain. Corbain comes in, starts using those feet of his. Irish whip on Valentine, sits down on the opposite side, comes spinning, heel kick, takes Valentine down. Everyone in to break that one up. Corbain didn't have a chance on that pinfall. Now he's got Valentine by the arm, kicking him as well. Corbain now on the advantage as Valentine's down on his knees while he's holding that arm. Inzaguri from Corbain onto Valentine, making the cover once again. Everyone and his mother in there to try to break that up. And Caesar punts him right in the face. Or in the arm, excuse me, didn't see where. And a low blow. 
right up to the groin region. Valentine now just throws Corbain out to the floor. Now I'm curious here, Jingus, if, if there's a count out on Corbain since Valentine's the legal oh. man, does that give Valentine the win, Valentine and Caesar? In theory, I would imagine so. However, I think none of the people want a count out. They'll keep breaking it up as long as possible to keep their shot in this match. Doesn't matter now anyhow because Corbain's back in there. Irish whip to the opposite side. Valentine comes in and misses. Bouncing up and down on the turnbuckle. Corbain trying to get over to his partner to make a tag out. Valentine works his way over, tags in. Caesar Corbain tags in, done. In comes Hammerjack just for the hell of it. And Shane Eden as well. Everybody, all six men in the ring now. It's chaos at the moment. You've got Don kicking Caesar. You've got Shane Eden manhandling. Matt Corbain. Corbain, and now it's two on two in there while the Heartbreakers are ringside. Heartbreakers just taking a break, and there goes K Corbain, but they caught him. Picking him up, what in the world are they doing? Caesar's got him, tosses him right into the steel ring post. That's it, he's out. Valentine gets knocked off the apron. Shane Eden didn't even see him there. Done now going in right after Shane Eden. Shane Eden pokes the eye, slows him down, Irish whip. Scoops up by Hammerjack. He slams him down, and Shane's going up top. Heartbreakers don't even see it. They're beating on Corbain out on the floor. One, two, and three count. They weren't there in time. Fast and the Furious advancing to the finals.